Okay, Blaze, you're up. You motherfucker. I love you, John. Thanks for pronouncing my character's name correctly. I said Blaze. <laughs> um hey listen man, right. you pick the name yeah you can we talk you and i really quickly in a sidebar john sure. very quickly you want to go to dark force is that cool no you just send it to me in pm oh you want to like verbal talk yeah it'll be oh, a lot okay. quicker what's up yo okay so i've got a spell called scattering trap let me link it to you You've seen it before. And I'm going to use... I, I would have used it before in combat a lot of times. So I want I don't want to be surprised by using it in your game. I mean, obviously, you, we, I would already know the mechanics as the character is basically yep. what I'm getting to. Okay. I'm going to use the Rod of Sculpt Spell on it which allows me to change the area into a 20 foot radius ball. Okay. And I just want to make that clear that each five foot area in that ball qualifies for the scattering trap going off. I don't think that's how sculpt spells speak. I think you switch it to one of those, uh, sculpted sizes like, well that's what the scattering trap says specifically in the spell description like each five foot square uh will will trigger the the trap yes but when you use sculpt sculpt spell you change the area from the one in the spell description yeah to the new one so it's Correct. longer one five foot square per two levels it is a cone or a column or whatever you pick but moving through any part of that will still trigger yeah oh yeah you could definitely turn it into a shape that is bigger and allows you to like encompass something but you'd only get one of them yes absolutely uh, okay, i'm not I trying you were to saying that you were going to get put on 10 no 20 okay, no yeah that's fine that, no i'm not going to be able to, to litter the whole battlefield with massive amounts of Sorry, what does this do? Just teleports? Yeah, just teleport. That's it. Where does it teleport to? Uh, random. You get to have fun. This is all DM rules. Okay. Gives you a five foot square. Moving through the square. Failing a saving throw. Teleport to D6 squares in a random direction. What is the advantage of doing this? I currently have up anticipate teleportation. Oh, okay. So you know where he's going to be. I'll, I'll know where he is. Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. And it gives us more time, basically. Why, why was that a secret uh, DM meeting? It's not a secret meeting, but I didn't want to have a lot of people talking over both of us. No, that's why I just wanted to check. Yeah, it, it doesn't future, have to be secret. Future, just say, hey, we're going to discuss this, and I'll just tell everyone to be quiet while we're talking about it. Um, yeah. It just it always seems shifty when you do things behind the players' back. So I'm... they'll get to see it firsthand, and I don't mind them knowing the mechanics. It's just when you talk about it the first time, a lot of people want to throw in their two cents. I'm like, uh, no, no. no. Nope, as sure. as a DM, I don't want to have any part of that. Totally fair. Okay, well, let's jump back in. Let's do it. Fuck! How? how he, wait, wait, wait! You, he's also got a portable hole for a reason. He's got to tell you the story about it, though. I, I, we found an Ef uh, a Freddy or whatever bottle. A Freddy, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I decided to take it up on its wishes. You fucking, and you didn't, oh my god. And I didn't what? Why did I miss while I was gone? This using. Oh, oh, I would have, I would have used that in vi some very intelligent ways, let me tell you. Yeah, you know, I used. made terrible wishes. I well, used it to always makes terrible wishes. I do. I do. I used it to get the cloak of charisma. I used it to uh, identify a drought artifact. <laughs> um, it was uh, that was cursing the entire party. That he actually already had the coins to use 
have someone else cast that spell for him without needing the wish, but decide to use the wish anyway. Yeah, he, used yeah, he stole the money from the last adventure so that he could cast the spell, get a legend or cast in the dagger, and then use the wish instead. So he literally oh, traded a wish for 4,000 gold pieces. Good how fucking high, god. How high up is the dragon? Uh, he's about 20 feet in the air. Okay, that's perfect. I will center this 20 foot up. Is there any way that you want me to designate its height? It's a 20 oh, foot it's radius a 20 ball. Foot radius? So it's 20 feet in the air, which means it's a sphere sitting on the ground? Yeah. Okay. Perfectly yeah. touches the ground. And that's it for me. And then he gets a will save against that? Uh, no, he hasn't moved through it yet. Like, he currently is in it. When he moves on his turn, that's when it triggers. Oh, okay. And so I'd also like to cast a swift poison again. Okay. <laughs> his touch AC is 13. Yeah, I'm all sorts of fill. Sweet. Did you have a luck bonus? Nah, that's it's not worth it. Not a big deal. Nope. And I just wanted to check. Actually, you know what? It is worth it. Screw it. I'll I'll throw in the luck bonus. And you can do that counteractively. Yeah, luck is retro. apply retroactively. Fine. It's the only thing you can apply afterwards. Yeah, okay. And the DC is uh Well it's conjuration, isn't it? My Conjuration DC for zero level spell is 26. Okay, let's quickly go over how you got to 26. What's your uh, intelligence? My intelligence is 27. So that's okay, a plus so eight. Plus eight. And then your mm -hmm. level? My caster level for Conjuration is 16. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh oh. Yeah, that's, uh -oh. that's insane. How did you get to 16? That's more than double your level. No, I, I appreciate that. I like that question. So, um, we've got Draconic Aura Energy, cold. So there's two right there. We've got Spell Focus, cold. Greater Spell Focus, cold. So that's an additional two. That There's four. Cold doesn't... Uh apply to teleport though my spell is is affected by snow casting oh yeah you took the snow thing yeah yep then i've got uh spell focus conjuration greater spell focus conjuration there's an additional two so there's a total of six that's so actually plus seven i think because i think greater is plus two and they stack yep that's right seven and then I got the staff of plus two. Okay, well. Uh, and then I also have a create magic tattoo, which is another plus one. Okay. What kind of bonus is the tattoo? That's a great question. I don't think it overlaps with anything you have. It's non-descriptive. It's not enhancement or anything. It just says plus one level. Generally, spells will be an enhancement bonus. Not again. Does it stacks with everything you have, so it's not an issue. But if you got like a vest of casting, like we were discussing, it wouldn't stack with that. Sure. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Odalax. He gets to make a save, I believe. Oh yeah, you hit him with the poison thing. That was why we were discussing the save. That sucks, and he only has a plus one luck bonus. So he would be poisoned. You fucking poisoned a green dragon. Yeah, With that's the cantrip. Uh, impressive. Good god. I mean, yeah, their immunity out of game is acid, so... Yeah, in second edition they had immunity to poison, but they changed their mechanic. Is it black dragons that are poison? 
Uh, no, black dragons are uh, acid as well, but I think black dragons have immunity to poison because of their just toxic layer. Uh. They're swamp dragons. All right. Okay, are you done now? Yeah. Okay, then Odalax. So is that the dragon over there? Uh, that is the dragon over there. I can see it. Uh, what's currently going on with him? What did he cast at that dragon? Um, you can roll a spellcraft check, assuming you can see that far. It's a scattering trap. What does that do? Makes you have flip flop and teleport all over the place. That's a fat meme. Good job. All right. Uh, so I will my spells, my spells, my spells. Are our spell have our spells refreshed? Uh, no. Fuck. Any spells you use during your sleep re sleep cycle count for the next day. Bells, let me see here. Uh, what I got? Okay. Um. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Fuck. Uh, all right. I guess I'll just start playing my music. Uh, so it's standard action to start a bardic music, isn't it? Um, I think it depends on your level. It might be a move action for you at your level. Look on the, bar the bard might, dock. I think it might be a move action. Let me check there. Let me see. Let me see. I apologize for taking so long. No worries. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Inspire competence, by greatness, soothing performance, frightening tunes, by heroics, mass suggestions, by greatness, Dirge of Doom, Distraction, Countersong, Frank Fan, Well Versed. Uh, where is it? Huh, I don't see the... I'm... Project Full Trades Exemplar. Full Trades if you look on the table, I think it lists it as Bardic Music Fast. All right. Uh, fast party performance. Yep, at seventh level. Cool. All right. Yeah, I thought it was seventh so, level. I just wasn't sure if it's seventh or eighth. So I have a lot of casting, so I should be able to cast this spell too. I will uh, make sure you cast your spell first, because once you start singing, it ends if you cast the spell. Well, I mean that's why I took a lot of casting. Oh, what's that do? Uh, let me see here. It allows you. Uh, whenever a concentration check would be required to cast a spell or spell like ability, uh, you can make a perform check instead. In addition, you can cast spells and activate magic items by command word or spell completion using a bardic music ability. Or Sorry, while using... I was responding to Discord. What what was that? So the benefit of this is whenever uh, so it has two benefits. One, whenever a concentration check would be required to cast a spell or use a spell like ability, uh, you can use a perform check instead. In addition, you can cast spells and activate magic items by command word or spell completion using a, while using a bardic music ability. That is fucking awesome. Yeah. And even then... Uh... Did I cut out or did you? He did. Come back, CJ. Oh, I'm sorry. Light. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Uh, so yeah, I will. Uh, I'll, make, I'll start my bardic music, and then, then I think fuck. I need, how many? So this list here on my character sheet, I think it's it's five plus one, four plus one, three plus one, and two plus one. Those are are those spell known or spell slots? The, one, also, the uh, ones that are in the actual table are your spells yeah. per day. Those are the, the number of slots you get. The ones at the top are your spells known. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. So I have. Uh. Yeah. No. So I, I think I have one last thing because I casted like ton or I casted powered sleep like three times and that fucking guy to get him to go to sleep. So I'll cast four. T or I'll, I'll start my bardic music. So all of my ally or my allies within fucking auditory range. Um. You'll notice your weapons start humming like fucking tuning forks. You get an additional plus two to six uh, sonic damage to all uh, attacks that you land. And then I'll cast Fortissimo, uh, targeting my own uh, music, and that will increase to three to six sonic damage on every attack you land. Nice. And uh, that will that'll keep in out. mind I'll... your um, bardic music range is your level uh, times 10 feet. Oh, is it? I thought it was just auditory range, like if they can hear me. Well, as you progress as a bard, your ability to uh, enunciate improves, so you can project your voice a lot further. Okay. And your fortissimo doubles that, doesn't it? I think I think it does, yeah. Let me see. Is that only to weapon damage or any type of damage we deal? Uh, it's, it's like weapon damage. So if you fire a bow or you, uh, like land an attack, but it has a to spell like won't work though. Okay. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I, don't, I can't give you sonic damage or spells. Uh, yeah. Doubles the volume of the source of sound. Uh, specified by the caster. So doubling the volume of my music adds, and it adds plus one die six to all of your, uh, weapon attacks. Okay. You doing anything else? I guess you moved. Uh, yeah, I'll just move up here. Uh, I don't think you can. Oh, God. You can't move, cast, and sing. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I was, like, right here. Uh, you can take a five foot with your swift action if you want to get a little closer. Uh, sure, yeah. I'll, I'll like, five foot step diagonal just because that's, like, it's every other five feet and then 15. Get a little bit, a little bit extra out of, that, out of it. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and, I'll be like, wake the fuck up! I'm burning! <laughs> I'm covered in green shit. That's the end of my turn. Okay, so um, the kobolds will uh, announce their presence at this point and uh, target uh, Blaze uh, with Bla eyes. Bla eyes. When I now, say when I say blaze, just imagine that I'm saying eyes. That's fair. Because I'm always gonna say it wrong. I'm never gonna get that right. Oh, uh, we'll get there. John It'll be a says, journey. John says every name wrong. This that's, is exciting. That's not true. Well, well, well to time... be fair, Fuhrer is a easily translated as fuck boy. We've got. That's really all I want to say. <laughs> I got one name right the first time. Lake named one of his uh, commanders like. Ithaths or something, and I said it right the first time, and I was like, "Okay, uh, oh. I'm done. I win." First and we've time, never said it right it. since then in that campaign. Oh shit! Hold on, I gotta get a uh, customary, customary. I know it doesn't affect anything, but I do have to roll a perform check just, uh, just, just because you know, first, first performance of the campaign. Gotta, gotta, gotta see how good I do. Uh, so you know. Yeah, there we go. Twenty-eight. Cool. Damn. Plus twenty. Damn. Yeah. Oh, you should see my fucking diplomacy, dude. I have a plus twenty-eight diplomacy. <laughs> That's Kenny level of cheap. Yeah. All right, cobalt turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought I opened my cobalt page. I rolled initiative for them but i couldn't find the document so i had to go find it again okay uh so they will start uh, uh targeting bazaar i can't I still can't say it blice eyes it's like it's like my eyes like if you burn someone's eyes out there it's scream my eyes but it's a blah instead of mine 
Blah eyes. Yeah, that's that's a fucking mouthful, bro. Okay, so Kobold one targets blah eyes for nine points of magic missile damage. Based. Sorry. I said based. Uh, you'll probably want some basting after this roast. Get fuck out of here. <laughs> Listen, that would have been funny if it was if it was if it, did, if it did like fire damage. Okay, this is an acid dragon. Um, and ten points from the second one. I can say uh, that, and all the kobolds start targeting me with magic missile. So. I hate kobolds. Uh, and ten points from the third one. Holy fuck! Yeah, kobolds really are vermin. Jesus. You, you Fuck you laugh. guys, all right? Listen. Look, look, I, we're effective. not talking about you. We're not talking about you. We're just talking about the kobolds in this area are all vermin deserve to die. That's all we're saying. Listen, that's not... I'm not okay with that. I can ask. That is, that is incredibly racist. You're right. <laughs> that actually is. That That is the definition, I believe. <laughs> okay, so the next one uh, will yell, Traitor... And target the Fuck. friendly neighborhood bard. Fuck you! Wait, he can't even see me. I I have I have a fucking dark vision range of sixty feet, and this motherfucker is out of my line of sight. Yeah, that's true, but you're not out of his line of sight because you're standing next to the fire. Fuck you! God, don't use my own logic against. Me. <laughs> so eight points from the first one. Ow. Uh, the next one will target the dwarf. Because killing dwarves is fun. So five points for Toem. What kind? Of, what kind of damage? Magic missile. So it's force damage. Followed by yeah, not using Telgor's fireball. Oh, these guys, these kobolds, just don't know what they're fucking doing. Bro. What are you referring to? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not going to give you any ideas, but once it's I'm in charge of these kobolds, they will be learning different spells. Stronger spells. All right, let's uh, play. They can't do... Uh, they can't switch their Searching for the Dragon, can they? I don't think they can, no. Unfortunately. But the next generations. They will be Fair using... Enough. They will be using a first-level fireball spell. That's pretty based. Okay, Aaron, uh, you take nine... And then Elric will take the two on the top. For seven and eight. And then I think there's only two left. And they will both target Fuhrer. For six and six. And then we are on to Aaron. Uh let's move action stand up and let's uh use my action to wild shape here. Um what direction did all these missiles come from? Are they all, all are... around you? The two from the north hit Elvric, the two from the uh west hit Fuhr. Um yeah, basically all around. Yours came from the east. Okay. Um yeah, so I guess yeah, so move action stand up. Um can I get the the large form again? Yep. Thank you. And let's see what is that? Uh, I'm at 28 then plus the healing is do I get the fast healing now? It's at the start of the turn, right? So it'd be next turn. Yeah, it'd be your next turn you'd heal. Cool. I'm just going to set that over there. I'm going to put that here. Um, and I do have... What's the DC for a concentration check? Uh, from the it damage is, I took? I took... It's 10 plus the damage, plus the spell level. 10 plus spell level. So 0 plus damage. I think I took 9. Um, is it 9? 
Yeah, it looks like nine. Um, so 19. It's a swift action. I might as well try it. Nice. Um, I'm just going to cast a uh, Cure Minor Wounds on myself. That'll be it. Okay. And I guess, yeah, that'll be it. Then we move on to Toem, Holy Eights in the initiative. All right. <clears throat> Can't really see where all these attacks are coming from, but I imagine they're coming... Where did the lights of the magic missiles come from? All around you, yours came from the east. You can see there, you're, you can tell okay. there's a bunch to the south because uh, Blah Eyes got pelleted in several directions. Okay. You don't uh, need well, to sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger every time you say my name. Yes, uh, I do. It's, it's, he really does, yeah. It's kind what? of necessary. Okay. All right. At least until I learn how to say it, I need to say it super pronounced. Uh, being that they're, that they're far away, I'll take a run action, I think. Should be able to run straight down. Yep. And that'll end my turn. Okay. Then we are on to Elric. I'll just lay on hands myself. Dang, those are some nice rolls. Those are some awesome rolls. The problem is that's how long it takes for the maneuver to come back. <laughs> oh, of course. No, good. that's how I select my maneuvers. Oh, okay. I thought that was the duration for them. So... Does would it benefit anyone to be able to take their turn now? Um, or you lose it for the next round. I mean, I see an enemy there, so I guess up to you. Yeah, sure. I'll uh, move your initiative to just after me. Thank you. Okay, Aaron, then it's your go. Oh, um, I guess I'll move. Uh, that tree directly east of, or that bush is difficult terrain, right? Uh, not for you at size large. The big okay. one behind it is, though. That's 40 feet. Um, do I want to charge or just go in? Um... They don't have any weapons, right? Is it just casting it looks like they're capable of? Uh, they have their spears drawn. Spears. Um... Oh, I don't... I have to cast, don't I? Um... I'm... Oh, shoot. This is the same round. Is this technically the same round that I took damage? Yep. Ah. Um... Do I have to make another concentration check? Yep. If I want to cast another spell? Um... Yeah, it's going to be a first level spell, so it'll be DC 20. This is a, a skill check, right? It's spellcraft, so I'm going to use that bonus. Nope, and that fails, so um, I guess I'll just swift action move up, and that'll be it. Okay, what were you going to cast? Uh, I was going to cast Shillelagh. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Really? That is an absolutely insane spell. Okay, then we are back to initiative. Hello? Hey. 
Oh, cool. Okay, my mic wasn't working. It was. We were all just ignoring you. Oh, fuck you. Hey, tell him. Wow. Hey. That is an impressive initiative you have. Negative double digits. So are we? Do we reroll initiative every round? Or yep. Yep. Oh, good God. Oh shit! I instead of putting descending, I deleted everyone. Just reroll your initiative. Unfortunately, wasn't paying attention. I clicked the wrong button. I think for Jesus. that screw up, I should get a second round. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm officially on board with not liking changing initiative every single round. Why is that? Because they can do double actions against me and and magic mission me dead before I get another action. So that is technically true, except they only get to do magic missile once a day. Ah. And uh, yes, it is something that happens. Occasionally you'll go first and then you'll go last and in between they'll go twice. Um, and the flip side, occasionally you'll go last and then go first and go twice before they go. Yep. Which is the I get chaos it. of combat. Yeah, it bigger, definitely makes sense more exciting. Is you're 10 feet away from the dragon on his turn. But I went from having a 20-something initiative to a 13 when I rerolled. Okay, so the kobolds... Oh, wow, I rolled even better for initiative for the kobolds. Um, this kobold will double five foot up on you. And he will stab at you. Calls hurt. Missing horribly. I'm sorry. He'll double move. He double moves. He double moves. I think this guy can make it. He can. So he will charge. See, I can't say it with a the ridiculous accent. The eyes. The lies. Okay. Uh, a charge has to be direct, by the way, to the closest square. Oh, sorry, if you... did I not go to the closest square? It did not. No, I'm which just going to call it Belial square? from now on. The closest square is right here. If you draw a direct line between, you can see that the closest square would be this one right there. Okay, he goes there. Uh, mm -hmm. 21, is that a hit on you? Um, I'm going to use an immediate action now, if that's okay. Yep. Has this guy gone yet? Um, all the way to the bottom? I can't see who you're referring to. Let me ping none, him again. Of, yeah, none of the guys in the bottom are gone. I'm going around counterclockwise. So the guy, be, the guy beside the dragon in the teleport thingy is the next to go. Yeah. Give me three seconds. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to drop jaunt right there. Sorry, what is that? Abrupt jaunt. Oh, you get out of the way of the charge? Yeah, it's I can as a media action teleport ten foot. Okay. I well, can do that he... my in times per day. Okay, well then uh, that would end his charge, but then he can just uh, move up on you. Because I don't, I think he was only 30 feet away from you, so he still had an action. I would do that in the middle of his attack. That's why it's an immediate action. I interrupt his actual attack at me. 
Yeah, but he still has his five foot after he misses with his attack. Oh, I see. He still and has a with swift your... action. Gotcha. And technically, he'd have his move action because he did a standard action charge because he only went 30 feet. So, But it's not relevant specifically. He's not going to be able to attack you. Um, then the other one makes a save when he moves through the teleport trap. Which one? The one to the south that's in the teleport trap. You're asking if he does? Yeah, does he get, does he make a save at this point that he's moving? Yes, yes he does. Okay, and that's a will save? It is indeed. Oh, reflex. My apologies. Not that it matters either way. Uh, I put the reflex bonus in the will save, uh, but he fails. What are the consequences of that? I put the missing with a thrown weapon in your Lost Empire 2 Discord. So you get to roll, or if you want me to, I can, but it might be better for you. You roll a 1d8 for direction, and then you roll 1d6 from the number of squares in that direction. And they teleport. Oh, it's just a scatter teleport. Okay. It's just, yeah, it's a random scatter teleport. So that's why it's a scattering trap. They go all over Tarnation. Okay, so seven is east, and he goes six squares from there. And he does that every round? No, uh, he only does it whenever he moves through the actual trap. However, because my anticipate teleportation is up, that means that he is blinked out of existence for one round, and I know exactly where he will teleport in. So I'll be able to know that he's teleporting in. For him, no time has passed. He just ceases to exist for six seconds in his world. But for me, uh, I know that he's gone for a full round and that he'll be there. Okay. Uh, then the next one will attack Tome. Oh, the next two will attack Tome. Um, this one will move up. That one will charge up. Uh, the 14 might be hit. It's plus 5. 14 plus 5? Yeah, that'll hit. Okay, so he sticks you with his uh, spear. Wow, whopping nine points. Take that, dwarf. I did. Oh, he's only supposed to go two squares, by the way. You rolled a two for your d6. Oh, shit. What kind of a brain fart is that? A serious one, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I, ju I just went six. Boom. Okay, so Tom, you take nine points. The other kobold double moves up on you, um, uh, Autolax. Fuck. I take another six, you said? Uh, no, you just take the nine points from the, uh, the spear. Cap. Okay, I think all of the kobolds have gone, so we're on to fear. I'm going to swift action wing and take to the sky and get this dragon. So that's uh, that's my move, and I'm going to start pelting this dragon. Let's <laughs> throw, yeah, I'm gonna throw a scorching ray at him. Uh, it's just it's rolls uh, separate rolls for each one, right? For each ray. Yeah, it's a separate attack for each ray. Okay, we'll do spell resistance for each one. I posted the song my bard is singing in the fucking Lost Empires chat. Felt thematically it, later. <laughs> it felt thematically appropriate for fighting an acid dragon. Um, and then the so spell 
Uh, so then I nod three to hit. Yeah, roll your three attacks. I think his touch AC is 13. Okay, all three hit. So I do four or 12 D6. Ouch. Twenty-eight points. Not that bad. That's actually really terrible damage. I think it still sucks to be four hit. nat ones. Yeah. Jesus. Build almost all nat ones and twos actually. Yeah. Yeah, that is terrible damage. Got an old oh two numbers my above a three. God, you just dropped into fifty-two hit points again. Yep. Yeah, I am way below average. Sometimes. It happens. Are you doing anything else? I think that was all your actions. That's all my actions, yeah, and I'm 20 or 30 feet near. Okay. Uh, Odalax, you're up. Um, Alrighty then. I <laughs> or I have two kobolds fast approaching me. I need to deal with them. So... They seem I'm very going... angry at you. Yeah. I can tell. Uh, I wish I had a skill to let me fucking use diplomacy in a single turn, because I think there there is, like, you take, like, a massive minus, but there's, like, certain prestige classes or feats you can take where it's like, I'm going to roll a diplomacy check <laughs> in six seconds, <laughs> and I'm going to fucking diplomacy these fuckers down. Um, fuck. Okay, so I need to... So, can they charge diagonally? Yeah, they can charge in any direction if there's no obstructions. The one that's only five feet away from you can't charge. Okay, so I'm going to swift action maintain my, uh, maintain my, whatchamacallit. It'll be my it'll be my move. And then uh oh, then these two guys are fucking mad at me. Uh I'm hoping that fucking uh Elvric will fucking take care of those other guys, but in the meantime I'm going to uh fucking use a third level slot to cast uh what do I? Does it anything happen if I use an, a, 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 like a higher level slot to cast lower level spell? Um, Unless it specifies there's, otherwise. There's not a specific uh, rule for it, but I allow it. Why would you use a higher slot to cast a lower spell? Because I used our all of my slots trying to put the fucking dwarf to sleep. Oh, okay. So, uh, and I'm going to uh, let me see. Fuck, I need to look at... I need to find the thing on Power Word Sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. buh, buh, shit. 